What is up everybody? It's Vinny and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to pass the FAA Part 107 test guaranteed. And this is something they don't teach you in school because why would they teach you things in school that give you an advantage over other people in society? Now, before we get into the video, there's a lot of people that have made videos like this before and they're always trying to get you to buy a course or they're not really telling you how to pass the test. Well, I did pass the test this year and I studied for a couple months, maybe five or six weeks, and passed the test on the first try. So I'm gonna to talk to you guys about what resources, what exactly what you need to pass the test, and what's on the test, and anything else that is related to passing this test, okay? The first thing that I wanna tell you guys is I have three PDFs that you will need. Two of them you definitely will need, and then the third one is not exactly necessary, but it's good to have, and we'll get to that in just a second. So the first PDF is going to be my notes, okay? My notes from any of the studying that I did or this other YouTube channel that I watched this video playlist twice okay i'll give you that youtube channel at this or during this video but for now let's just go over what the pdfs are the second pdf and you can find this on the faa website is the regulations okay you have to know the drone regulations for the test and they're not, they're not hard, and you'll see it when you open the PDF. And then the third PDF, that is going to be the Remote Pilot Study Guide. Okay, this PDF is provided by the FAA. And guys, remember, all this stuff is free. Watch this whole video. I'm not going to sell you a course at the end of the video. This is the best way to do it. So, the... Remote Pilot Study Guide, it comes from, or this YouTube channel I'm about to give you, what this guy did was he made a bunch of YouTube videos that is basically the Remote Pilot Study Guide repeated back in verbal form, okay? And this guy, he's called the Drone Coach. And he has a playlist that is I think it's 14 videos long. Out of all the guys that I've seen do videos on passing this drone test, it took me probably like 10 or 12 different YouTube channels to find this guy, and he was the best one. So this is what you will need to do. The first thing you need to do, you need to look at my PDF notes, okay? And a lot of those notes were directly from the drone coach, all right? You need to know the second, or you need to know the regulations on drones. You don't have to really download this PDF right here because these two things are pretty much the same, except the FAA's remote pilot study guide it just looks old, okay? And then the drone coach, what he did was he made an entire playlist on the remote pilot study guide and he made the best playlist. But there's one more thing that we need to talk about if you're going to pass this test on the first try. You will need to study or learn how to read the sectional charts okay the reason why you need to learn how to how to read the sectional charts is because that's a majority of the test if you go into this test and you're not confident on how to read sectional charts and if you don't know how to read sectional charts i'll put the link to the drone coach he has a video on how to read sectional charts I'll put that in the link in the description below. Everything that we've talked about up to this point, there will be a link in the video description below. 
So learn how to read the sectional charts. That's probably going to take you the most amount of time because if you've never seen a sectional chart before, you're going to have to learn all the different symbols. You're going to have to learn how the charts are laid out. And there's just a bunch of stuff on the charts that if you don't know what it is, then you're not going to pass the test. A lot of the questions on the test are related to finding something on a sectional chart, reading something on a sectional chart, or explaining something on a sectional chart. So let's talk about very briefly what my PDF has and why it's so important. It's because pretty much all the notes that are in my PDF is definitions, important definitions and important terminology. That way, when you're watching the drone coach videos, you don't have, you, there's no definitions that I did not put on my PDF that, that need to be on there. Meaning like all the definitions and terminology and notes that I took was relevant to the test that you will take. What I would do is I would pull up the drone coach, okay? Pull this guy up first, and this none of this costs you any money, but he does have a, uh, a, a course that you can buy, but here's the thing about the course. I bought the course for 50 bucks so I could take the practice test to see if I was ready to take the actual test. The thing about the course, though, this guy sells is every single YouTube video that he has is on the course. Really, the only benefit that you gain from buying his course for $50 is the practice tests that are on there because the practice tests are pretty good. And he made the practice test himself. So if you go through all of his videos and you have my notes with those videos and you read the regulations, you do not need to read this remote pilot study guide. I just have it there in case you want to look at it. And then you, I would spend most of your time learning how to read the sectional charts. If you do those things right there, you will pass this test. So if you go over all of the PDF links that I've provided in the link in the description below, and you go to the drone coaches, video playlist which is just the remote pilot study guide on youtube that's really what it is you might want to take his practice test that will cost you fifty dollars in the event that you just want to be super confident that you don't want to take this test twice because if you don't pass it the first time you got to wait two weeks to take it before you can take it again so the cost of the test is 175 dollars you pass it one time it's good for two years like this video if you thought it was helpful and also if you have any questions about the actual test or any of the terminology that i have in my own personal notes then you can write me a comment on this video and i will get back with you as soon as possible thanks for tuning in today and we'll see you on the next video